And while lawmakers and are in Washington this week, they laid out their priorities for the 2019 and beyond. RFD-TV's Sarah Mock stopped by the National Rural Health Care Association's D.C. Policy Conference to learn how advocates are keeping rural at the top of the agenda. During a busy week here in the nation's capital, national rural health advocates made their way to Washington to discuss some of their top priorities going into 2019. We're lucky to be joined here by Alan Morgan. Alan is the CEO of the National Rural Health Association. Alan, give us a little preview or a, a little recap. What has your organization been focusing on while they're here in Washington? Well, it's a great time for us to be here. It's the start of the legislative session, and we're talking about what is possible in a rural setting. How do we keep high quality health care there in our local communities? Could you talk a little bit about kind of the innovative things that you guys are looking at and then also what are the needs in terms of technology to get those into rural communities? Oh, absolutely. We're talking about technology and innovation in rural America. The first thing that comes to mind is broadband telehealth applications. How do we bring specialty care into the rural communities? But also we need to talk about how are we delivering that care in rural communities? What is your rural hospital? What should it look like? What's its size? What's its scope? What health care service should be provided? Do you have your members here? Uh, they were on the Hill yesterday talking to lawmakers. What kind of stories are they bringing to folks to kind of, uh, you know, spur them into action on some of these, these key issues? Oh, absolutely. From a rural standpoint, there's some amazing things happening across the country in rural towns. Really, rural America is where a lot of the innovation is happening now in the rural health care uh, context. So up on Capitol Hill, they're sharing the story of the great high quality health care that can be delivered in a rural setting and also mentioning what, what's the partnership that needs to be between federal, state, and local authorities to make sure that those doctors can continue to practice in a rural setting? Could you talk about, you know, what, what gives you hope moving forward? Sure. Um, in a rural setting, you have the high health disparities, you have declining life expectancies, but that forces the local health care system to innovate, um, to do more with less. And that view of how can you actually have really good quality services delivered in a rural setting, um, it's amazing and it's a good Good lesson for where the entire healthcare system should be going. And so I think rural America can be a great model for our healthcare system as we move forward. Absolutely. Well, thanks again to Alan Morgan for joining us today. He's the CEO of the National Rural Healthcare Association, joining us here in Washington at their annual national event. Uh, we'll have more updates for you throughout the morning from here in Washington. But until then, back to you in the studio. Thanks, Sarah. Well, Senator John Bozeman of Arkansas introduced a bill yesterday that aims to address one of the many issues rural hospitals face, namely a lack of qualified health care providers. The resident physician